Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring you your monthly love forecast for what is your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, what does your love interest secretly want to tell you for the month of July? This is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. And thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Aquarius's love interest? What do they secretly want to tell my Aquarius's for the month of July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What does my Aquarius say? Love interest, the one they're here for, the one around the month. Let me see if I want to tell my Aquarius for the month of July. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What does. Let me move that out of the way. What does my Aquarius love interest, the one they're here for, the one I don't know about? Do you really want to tell my Aquarius? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Let's see what's going on here, Aquarius. Hmm. So they're trying to see the humor in the situation. It's about happiness here with the humor card. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, very happy, balanced card. Knight of Swords, because of something that was cut away or cut things out, Knight of Swords energy, possibly something that happened that was harsh uh, with the Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords can represent when uh, there's some arguments or disputes, right? Uh, or if someone is, is saying something very harsh or negative, that can be the Knight of Swords energy. Also, Knight of Swords can represent fast moving energy or things being cut away or cut out. And what are they trying to cut things out? They're cutting things away or cutting things out when it comes to their confusion or cloudiness. So they're focusing on the humor of the situation and they're cutting away and cutting things out pertaining to their confusion, their, um, their cloudedness around her, their situation. Okay, so what's the blockage? Balance, so they're trying to bring balance to things. So it's, a, it's an aspect of, for me, it's like the temperance card, a want for some kind of equal give and take here. Uh, the card itself says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into the world and I do this without judgment. So there is a, the block it seems to be, there's something that this person wants balanced or there is a sense that there needs to be balance in the situation. and. That is why there is, seems to be some kind of slow moving things here with the Knight of Pentacles energy because there's issues around balance. Knight of Pentacles can represent there's a person that's like deciding, you know, I'm going to slow things down. I'm just going to kind of go forward, but I'm going to take my time here. I'm really going to be methodical and analyze things with the Knight of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Fox card can represent this person wanting to use their wits. Okay, box card energy can also use the reason why there is this lack of balance or the sense of wanting an equal give and take because there's a person that may feel like there's something that's deceptive, manipulative, um, or you know, some kind of uh, someone not being honest, completely honest, or only up and up with the box card energy. So that's part of the blockage here. At the foundation of the matter, it's there's love here, there is love here. I commit to the practice of seeing all the good. So we see at the foundation of the matter with you and this person, there is uh, love. And there's some things that really changed or some big upheavals or big um, uh, transformations here with the tower card energy. What do I always say about the tower card energy? Car breaking down, tower card energy. or yeah, um, it's like when you're winning the lottery, positive energy. So obviously with this sense, there were some positive changes here with the tower card energy. Um, because of a letter or a message or a written document there with the letter card energy. So some big changes happen, some big transformations happen because uh, there was a sense of love or there was a there was surprises here around the situation or something that was unexpected pertaining to love because of a message, because of a letter, because of a, uh, you know, what do I always say about the letter cards, any kind of written communication. Okay, so in the past, there was abundance here, okay? There's, there was a sense of abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire to this physical reality. And it was a focus on abundance. There's some stress here with this Nine of Swords energy. Um, almost like this person felt imprisoned or trapped in their situation. 
and the ship card represents because there was some kind of long distance relationship or something to do with foreign element or travel that was an issue here well obviously we know what's going on in the world so there was a lot of stress and anxiety when it came to abundance and travel and movement or change here with the ship card energy or some kind of long distance uh, situation nine is also about wishes being fulfilled so at the head of the matter it seems to be someone's pride right this reminds me of the strength card energy strength or courage or pride right uh, pride being someone's pride uh, someone's ego I love myself and I see myself in everyone so it's a sense of pride here it's a sense of self-respect and um, so that's why the Queen of Cups is coming out so it's because the sense of self-respect and love because of something that was a surprise there's a there's a wonder okay should I get my cup of love should I not get my cup of love cancer Scorpio Pisces energy because of some kind of opportunity or success um, so there is a going back and forth all right should I get my cup of love should I not get my cup of love we come back to the blockage here with this nine of pentacles energy so this person is slow walking things because of a lack of balance or wanting some balance and the fox card maybe they're not being completely honest about that with the fox card energy or maybe they're trying to use their wits or their intelligence to really methodically analyze things so in the near future here we have trust so we see that there is some things coming up with trust that they want to tell you about I accept my inner voice and will always guide me correctly so this person is having trust and faith that things are going to be okay and they're making that choice here now there could be other people involved with this choice um, there could be some influence here or they may feel like there's some kind of game being played here because you see there's people in this card are playing cards so they're having trust and faith that they're going to make the right choice here to of wands energy and uh, it does look like some kind of a flow of emotions are involved in the situation so they're basing their choice on their emotions here with the fish card energy and if we look at the head of the matter you can see that with the queen of cups yes they are trying to figure out all right what's going to be the best situation for me I'll be a patient here because I know there's some kind of opportunity here around the situation but on the same token it's about self-respect it's about pride and I'm just going to have uh, trust and faith that things are going to be worked out. I'm going to make the right choice here with the two of wands energy, and I'm going to use my emotions to do that. Okay, so let's see how this person sees you. Hmm. They see as uh, the see the situation as a sense of guilt. So they see the see you as a sense of guilt, or see the situation as a sense of guilt. Uh, so obviously, there's regrets, and they are having a sense of being, feeling guilty about this. I release my beliefs that no longer assist my personal soul growth. And there is some deep, heavy soul searching going on here with this Hermit card energy about this guilt. Because of the Anchor card, something to do with stability and stableness, something to do with uh, something that is causing this to be stuck or stagnant. Because this also can represent like the hangman energy. There's a sense of guilt because something seems to be that there is something that's stuck or stagnant. And it's like a lot of deep, heavy analyzing going on around the situation. How do they feel about you? There's acceptance here. So they feel that there's an acceptance around the situation. They want to learn to accept things that they cannot change. So they, they feel like they have a sense of acceptance around this because of justice. They feel like they want some type of justice or acceptance or a just truth or just decision, marriage, divorce, or just truth or just decision. So for some of you, when I see this letter card energy, could be an official document that came as a surprise, and then there's a sense of love here, or something to do with love, which is why this flow of emotions is happening about the fact that they're hoping in, and um, there's hope and trust that things are gonna work out. They're trying to make a choice with their emotions. And then they, they, they're, they're trying to have some kind of acceptance around this truth, around this justice, around this just truth or just decision. So they're feeling, they wanna they feel like they are accepting this decision that they have to make. Because the bouquet card, they do find you very attractive or there's something of a surprise here with the bouquet card. And it comes back to the tower card energy, which was a sudden surprise about some kind of message pertaining to love. And the bouquet being attraction, love, a just choice or just decision, their acceptance of it. So what's the influence here? Indecisions, yeah? Well, obviously there is some choices need to be made. Indecisions is the influence 
I use my intuitions to accept all aspects of life and it's because of a message of love or a new path in love with the Page of Cups energy and news and messages. So obviously with you guys, this person, what do they secretly want to tell you is that they need to make a choice. They're trying to use their emotions. They want love here. They uh, Something about this situation for them came as a surprise. And uh, this is leaving them kind of indecisive about things. Uh, they're feeling a little bit guilty because they have to do this deep, heavy soul searching. And, uh, you know, and there's something stuck or stagnant about the whole situation. Okay, so let's see the advice for you. Okay, so we got regret, gratitude, and discipline. So for me, it speaks of not to feel regretful about things, okay? Not to feel a sense of regret. I know that I cannot change the past, so don't have regret about the past. And to feel gratitude, feel thankful for the present opportunities that you have. And discipline shows me to uh, organize or structure things in a certain way here. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So they're saying not to feel regretful about the past, to feel gratitude about the current situation and organize and structure things in a certain way. Take charge of this and organize it. Okay, and the Sun card says focus on happiness and a commitment to knowledge. Or for me, the book card also speaks of using your intuition. So happiness and a commitment to using your intuition and structuring things and organizing things in a certain way, not to have regrets about the past and be thankful about things, thankful about the current situation, the current opportunities that you have pertaining to this commitment, engagement, or marriage with this ring card energy. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com or check out the description box below. Um, I will be releasing weeklies in the next couple days as well as monthly, so stay tuned for that. And monthlies um, also has um, uh, career and finance as well as health and wellness, so stay tuned for that. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your month.